Hi everyone. So in our last video, we have seen how to generate the allo report for JUnit project, right? So today we'll see how to generate the allo report for Cucumber project, right? So by using the Cucumber JVM option. So these are the references. Uh, like uh, last time also, I have said the same thing, like a reference, some sample report. So you have to download the allo binary and you have to uh, set the normal variable for generating allo report, right? Uh, and yeah so these are the dependencies for uh, for generating the cucumber jvm uh, allo report okay so we have to use uh, allo cucumber 5 jvm if you are using the cucumber verse i mean uh, dependency 5 then you have you can use 5 if you still use 4 you can go for a 4 right and allo j in it 5 and cucumber java uh, 5 so here i am using the cucumber uh, io uh, dependencies to 5 5 uh, uh, version so I'm just going with the JVM5 also, I mean Cucumber5 JVM, right? So I will quickly open, so these are the uh, things like, uh, so we already seen for TestNG uh, JUnit, right? So today we will see for uh, Cucumber JVM, okay? So these are the dependencies uh, we have to set. So the first dependency is uh, Cucumber uh, either 5 or 4 JVM. So in, in today we are seeing about uh, 5. Right, and these are the I mean uh, plugin that you have to add. Right, so this is a line like uh, D cucumber option. Right, so this will this will uh, you have to add in your uh, palm dot XML plugin. Right. So once the uh, this is done, right, so we we are good to uh, uh, get the report. Okay, so that's all configuration. I will quickly open my palm dot XML. Okay, so here the configuration is. You can see I am just using Cucumber version five here, so I am just uh, using the JVM also five and JUnit also five. Okay, alone JUnit five. That's all. And the plugin that I have added is uh, yeah. So I just copied from the website. I am just setting the results and some link for alone. Uh, things and this is this is a argument line that we have to pass that's all okay so now we'll come to the project so if you see this uh, allure system variables right so system variable is for these three lines right these three lines like uh, so the first one is uh, to generate the allure results okay so i'm just giving the project directory and in the within this uh, allo results folder right so the project directory default uh, i mean default point to target folder right and this is for uh, issues uh, link that we will we'll see in the uh, uh, report okay so this one also we'll see in the report okay this is for uh, this two links will 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 uh, see in the reports right so so if you see here, uh, we have a two feature files, one is Bing search, one is Google search, and this is a runner class, right? So in the runner class, we have to pass like a feature file, glue, uh, tags, if you have, and then plugin, right? So plugin where we have to define the Kokuma uh, JSON uh, uh, default report, right? And hooks, I, I just, you, I'm using the hooks in my project, like so far before, after scenario. So in the before I'm just starting the driver and after I'm just uh, closing the driver and if any scenarios are getting failed, I'm taking the screenshot. Okay, so this is a this is a method of uh, taking the screenshot. Okay, so if scenario is failed, take the screenshot and place it on the particular folder. I mean the the build bar. I mean the project directory itself, right? And these are the steps. Like a, uh, so it's very very simple one, very straightforward. And and yeah, that's all, all about uh, this one. Like so, if I open the feature file, right? So in a feature file, uh, these are the common tags that support by the Cucumber. And when it's it's come to the severity issue, uh, TMS link, right? So these three tags are uh, I'm 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 using from Allure. Okay. So the same applies to Google as well. So severity issue, TMS link. Okay. So these these two tags are supported by Cucumber. Okay, so this these three will be given by the Allure. Okay, 
I will show you where I mean where we get exactly into the reports. Okay, so we'll come back to the uh, I mean website. So when we generate the report, right? So features, the features uh, uh, basically the uh, the adapter provide the runtime integration allowing the conversation of Jerkin DSL feature uh, into the basic allure features. Okay, display name. So whatever the uh, your feature file name is, uh, display uh, use as a display name. Description is a feature file uh, appears on every scenario. So your scenario uh, will will uh, display as a description. Okay, your steps are will be always step. Okay, if you want to take attachment, you can use this. And the link also we can show. So this is a. a so this is a, a two lines, I mean a two tags we, we seen in the feature file, right? The issue TMS link. So if you see issue and the TMS link I have used here, right? And test maker, text fixtures, you can you can go or you can go for anything. Okay, you can you can anything you can use. So this system variables we I shown you, right? So this is the first line is for uh, generating the load report in the target folder. And this is for the issue link, and this is for TMS link. Okay, so that's all, all about the setup. Uh, we'll come to the uh, project now. So what I will do now, uh, I will simply run my project. Okay, now you can see under target we don't have anything. As soon as I run the project, uh, we will be getting some reports, allow reports. Let me run this project. So you can see uh, the project is started running. The browser is launched. Okay, the second feature file is running, Google feature. So now the execution is completed. So you can see this under target, right? You will be seeing this allow results folder, right? So this is created now, right? So what you can do, you can go to the terminal and you can pass the report like uh, to generate the report. So we have to pass the command. Hello, so so the report is getting in right. You can see the report here, right? So this is a overview report. Like uh, so, we have a uh, two suits. Uh, one is Google search, one is Bing search, and we have a uh, two features by stories. And categories is I mean it's fall under the product defect because we have some failures right so when you come to the categories uh, we have since we have failures so you can see the failures right so it is getting failed some title is getting failed right so when you come to the suit right so suit also we have two things like one is feature one is one more Google feature one is Bing feature so the Bing is getting passed and you can see this uh, this is getting failed right so this is grabs and this is timeline so this is behavior okay so here behavior also we can like we can do like this i mean we can so in our test ng we have seen right so uh, story feature uh, story then step right so epic uh, feature sorry epic feature story then steps right so th the same thing here so this is a cucumber feature file and scenario and this is scenarios line so when you click on this in the right side you can see the test body like so all the this steps are uh, getting uh, printed here right so we seen uh, how to generate the report from the uh, maven plugin right so if you don't want to use maven plugin uh, instead you can create the report from the runner class itself
okay so for that one you have to add this plugin okay so if you are using 4 cucumber 4 then you can use the cucumber 4 if you are using 5 make sure you are using the 5 here okay so what i will do now uh, i will run this uh, jinut runner you can see after the uh, test execution we will be getting the allow results uh, folder in the project directory itself okay so from uh, anywhere run from the form.xml we control uh, allow result under the target right so this one will be uh, directly uh, generated in the project directory itself okay i'm just running the test So the execution is done. I will simply refresh the project now. You can see one allow results will be created here. You can see this folder is just created now. Right? I will open this folder. I can see so there are some attachments. Uh, there are some JSONs created, right? So what I will do, I now uh, I will go to the terminal. I will use the allow serve command. Okay, so here also report generated. So two suits and we can see two features. One is scenario, one is Google, right? One is Bing, one is Google. So here also it will be taken the screen chat and TMS link also it's worth fine. So when you click on this, it will take you to the, sorry, here it is not working because uh, uh, we controlling this, uh, this URL uh, issue patterns, everything from the palm.xml, right? So it won't work when you run from the JNUIT runner. So we have to be, uh, there is another option also you can use. Uh, so you can maintain maintain the property file like this. So from the property file, you can take it. Uh, otherwise, one more option is by, by using the palm.xml. Okay, these three lines we are controlling from the uh, palm.xml using the system property. If you want to uh, keep 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 it in the uh, test resource folder also you can keep like this under src test resource folder you have to create one allure.property file where you have to maintain these three uh, things okay so in this case it will not work and everything is same so packages behaviors and suits right so we have two suits behavior also it will be on feature scenario feature scenario right so that's all all about the generating allure report uh, using the Cucumber JVM option, right? So we have seen two uh, ty two types of uh, generating options. One is uh, from JUnit Runner by using this plugin, and one more is from form.xml adding this argument line, right? So that's all about uh, generating a load report using the Cucumber JVM option. If you guys uh, have any uh, doubt, please leave in the comment. I will I will uh, try to answer that. Okay, thank you guys.